After watching that fun video by Hand Tool Rescue where he restored a variable speed AC electric motor made by Leland, it's actually a variable repulsion motor, I thought I'd show a few of mine. I have about four of these things and uh, I never really made a video focusing specifically on them, but we'll take a quick look at the ones that I have. So this one right here is a one horsepower. It's also a Leland and uh, it's a dual shaft. And actually I use each, each of the shafts to power a different machine. I got a small planer and a jointer uh, being powered by that Leland. Over here by my lathes, here's another Leland right here. And that one's powering this lathe here. And so when I flip that on, you can see here, you can make it go fast or slow, or you could reverse it just like that, okay? These are nice, dependable motors. They're low maintenance, they run good. They don't have quite as much torque at the real low end of the spectrum, but you can kind of compensate for that. You know, after you use it for a little while, you get a feel for it, and um, they're really convenient. You know, I just have the thing hooked up to one pulley on the lathe. You don't have to mess around moving the belt. This particular motor has ball bearings, so I could use it in the vertical position, like if you wanted to put it on the drill press or something like that, uh, that would definitely be a possibility. Let me move over here and show a couple of the other ones that I have. Over here is another one that I have made by Brown Brockmeyer. And this company made some good quality motors. You can see the lever here. I don't have a, I need to uh, clean this up and put a plug on it, but it runs. It's the same idea as the other one. And over here, okay, this is what I consider to be the Cadillac of variable speed AC motor. This motor is better than the Leland in its operating performance and it really performs well at low speeds and it doesn't overheat. It has a huge fan on it and it has plenty of breathing room uh, uh, the way that the housing is designed on it. And this one I use on my Delta lathe. When I click this on, take a look at that bad boy. This has ball bearings. It has huge ball bearings on it. I mean, it's really a well-built motor and it performs excellent. So, These Kimball motors were designed by a gentleman named Austin Kimball, who also designed the FS Betts motor, which I showed in one of my other videos. Anyways, he pulled some of the early patents on variable speed AC motors. And this particular motor was commonly used on old printing presses, the old uh, Chandler Price letter presses. And they were also used for some different types of generators and things like that. So if you're in the market for a variable speed AC motor, if you can find one, go for the Kimball, even if it costs more money. You won't be disappointed with that motor. I mean, it's really a high quality motor. And if I ever see another one, I'm going to scoop it up in a heartbeat. So anyways, take care. Talk to you later.